Thank you so much for chatting with me today. This film is so powerful. You're really fantastic in it. So I'm going to kick it off with, you might think it's kind of a dark question, but one of my favorite parts is when Lee has to write her own obituary while she's alive. And I was just thinking, like, if you look back on your legacy and your life, if you had to write yours now, what do you think your opening line would be? Oh, my goodness. I mean, just to that point you made about Lee being asked to write her own obituary, that was what they all had to do. And yeah. it was staggering when I was researching the film and the five years I spent developing it before our director came on board. It was just staggering how I would unearth these just horrifying things that they had to go through, but particularly Lee as a woman, as a flawed middle-aged woman who got her way into those male-dominated spaces, even when they kept trying to shut the door in her face, and she just kept going. I mean, it, it was such an inspiration. But the first line of my obituary... Yeah. Sorry to be so dark, but I just... I don't know. <laughs> Lived life at full throttle. And that's like Lee. You know, that's that's who she was. I mean, I have to say, as I was developing the film and preparing to play her, I kept... Mm -hmm. I sort of could almost feel her kind of pushing me on, you know, don't give up, don't give up. And that's always been me. I've never taken no for an answer. I do believe in pushing forward and not taking my foot off the gas. And yep. I kept coming across these parallels between myself and Lee. I mean, she was an infinitely more formidable person than I am. Um, but And what she did was so, so phenomenally important. I love that. I actually was going to ask you, you know, I think with every project and every character you play, you take something from them. Like, did you learn anything surprising about yourself that she inspired you about? Um, I learned, I mean, I... I was so inspired by her, really. Um, and I learned, well, I just kind of had it reconfirmed for myself that once I kind of really get in there and I throw myself into something that it's, it's hard to come out, you know, it's hard to yeah. come out and it's hard to come out the other side. But then yeah. that was also like Lee. I mean, Lee had excruciating PTSD because of what she experienced during the war. Yeah. And her relationship subsequently with her son, Anthony Penrose, was incredibly difficult. He was born after the war when she, in yeah. a time when she was really suffering. Um, and so I think I, I think I probably learned about myself just how important it absolutely is to just never give up. You know, and as, yeah. and, and as women, you know, it is more challenging for us and we need to live in a world where we make it less challenging. Lee obviously is a super free, top, topless spirit a lot. And earlier in your career, when you had to show more of yourself on screen, is it different for you now? Do you feel like you have more control and maybe less care about things like that? I don't have less care, but I certainly have more... Uh, more of a capacity to say, well, is this really relevant? Do we really need that? Um, I certainly had to kind of learn the hard way, I think, in terms of how to stand up for myself in those spaces, which were often male dominated, and I was really quite young. Um, and I feel phenomenally um, impressed and proud when I see other young actresses now just sort of walking through the world in a much more vocal way in terms of what they're okay with and what they aren't. And you know, I was one of the ones in the very beginning who was trying to sort of sift through the rubble of that to find the right words to say, oh, I'm not sure. And it was much harder for girls to put their foot down than it was for the guys, of course. Um, yeah. Now, and particularly on Lee, we made a decision that whenever she is naked, that it's always, always on her terms because she is choosing and we never, sexualize her and yeah. that was incredibly important because even though Lee uh, loved men and refused to be defined by the tragic thing that happened to her when she was a child she somehow was very free with her physical self and very at ease with who she was in her own body with all of its marks and flaws and softness and it was very very important that we didn't uh, shy away from that in the way that Lee didn't shy away from who she was and didn't shy away from revealing the truth. Um, yeah. So it was a very important part of our storytelling, actually. Yeah, I think you guys struck a balance beautifully. Kate, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Uh, live life at full throttle. Great open line. Yeah, right. there you go. That's it. <laughs> All right.